Good evening, everyone. Well, NMU football hosted their media day today, and I had an inside look on what the new NMU Wildcats look like this season. Looking at some video from the 4 and 7 NMU football team from last season. A lot of changes were seen in today's media day for the upcoming 2012 season. Players were seen smiling, laughing, and having a good time under new head football coach Chris Ostrowski. He wants the culture of NMU football to change starting this season and for the future. What we're trying to create is an atmosphere where we're always packed with energy and passion. We want to make sure we're putting a product on the field that's alive, that's uh, well, that, that's going as fast as you possibly can, where everybody's accountable for their actions, um, where everybody understands what's at stake, and everybody embraces each other. I think as long as we can do that, uh, success will come. Two weeks till the regular season begins and the Northern Michigan Wildcats will rank seventh in the preseason, but that doesn't matter because once the first week starts, winning is all that matters. I mean, really, I just want to go to bed on Saturday night, 1-0, and waking up Sunday, just kind of flushed it out. Um, if I've learned anything, it's no, don't look too far ahead. Um, I think if you really grasp that we need to be 1-0 every Saturday night or Thursday night, or whatever it may be. Um, I think we really put one game at a time on a pedestal, I think we'll be fine. Northern Michigan University football team opens up their season August 30th on the road against Finlay. Expect more from Eddie and the boys on defense this season. They should bring excitement back to the fans. Reporting from the Superior Dome, Donnie Dwyer, TV6 Sports. Thanks, NMU, for letting me have a little bit of fun. And let's get to some Ishpeming baseball that happened today. This is the Mining Classic tiebreaker game between Ishpeming and Munising. Bottom of the second, down 3-1. And that'd be a ground out by Kenny Waters to score. Uh, Garrett Mann to score Kenny Waters 3-1. to one. And then Tommy Ashalom scores to make it 3-2 to two on that wild pitch. But Munising had a lot of offense. Two men on and Zach Unglin would Get this past the center fielder, and he'd end up at third with a triple. Dane Merck and Jason Cornish score, and to make it a 5-2 ball game. They would then capitalize on two wild pitches here to make it 7-2 in the ball game. But they end up scoring 11 runs in that game and actually beat Ishpeming 11-5 to become tournament champs. Nice day of baseball for the youngsters. And all the money from this tournament, though, will be to support the state tournament to take place in Ishpeming next season. So expect great things for the UP. A few volleyball tournaments that I wasn't able to get to yesterday happened around the UP on Saturday. M Bank Sioux Invitational Petoskey defeated Houghton two sets to zero in the finals. And in the Wycons Volleyball Invite in West Iron County, Lake Linden won eight matches in the tournament and were your winners. Second place came in between Lance and Ironwood. For more on high school football and Packers and anything, remember UpperMichiganSource.com.